In this video I will show you how to solve the material balance for a steam reformer uh, using Excel. So there are three previous videos to this uh, series and that's where we've set up various equations to help us solve this problem. And now I've got Excel open and I've started to set the problem up. So we've got the table that we've been working on with different components, the inlet composition. I've then got the equations for the material balance so we worked all of these out and now I've started to implement these in Excel. So the first one just simply equals 0.5 up here. I've just put a dummy value of 0.5 in for X. Next we have 0 because we said all the ethane decomposes. Now I've got 1.04 minus X minus Y. Again Y is just a dummy value but it's important that it points to this cell because it's these two cells up here that are going to be changed in order to get the problem to converge and find a solution. The nitrogen is just 0 0.02. Again we've got an equation here for the um, H2O out so we've got 2.12 plus y plus 2x and then we've got just equals y for the CO and then we've got this equation here for the H2 out. And we can work out the total moles coming out here and then we can simply say that divided by this total to get the mole fraction of each and I'm just going to put a dollar sign in as a placeholder so that when I fill this down that all works out nicely and we've got the mole fraction of each component in the outlet. Then we use Dalton's law so it's the mole fraction times by the total pressure Again, I'm going to dollar sign that so it stays pointing to that pressure value when I fill down and now we've got the partial pressures. Some of those comes to 15 so that's reassuring and then we're just going to divide each of these by the standard pressure which in this case is just one but it's good practice just to still do that. Okay so now we've got these values we can implement the equations that we saw for the equilibrium constants. Now the required value for K reform and K shift are given by these correlations here. Again we looked at those in the video uh, previous video and we saw that they came to these values for 850 degrees. And what they currently are is based on the equation where we've got partial pressures divided by standard pressures. So for K reform it is partial pressure of CO times by the partial pressure divided by the standard pressure that's already done for us in that cell and then it's the partial pressure of H2 divided by the standard pressure and that term has to be cubed don't forget the cube and then that's all divided by partial pressure of CH4 times by the partial pressure of H2O coming out so we can see we get 5.67834 so that's a way off from what we want it to be at the moment, but we're going to use Solver in a moment to work that out for us. The other one that we need to use, the other equation that we need to be able to solve our, for our unknowns, is the shift reaction. So that is given to us by partial pressure of CO2 times by the partial pressure of H2 divided by partial pressure of CO times by the partial pressure of H2O and also we can see that that one's a way off. So the next step then is to use Solver to vary X and Y until these values match what we need them to be from the correlations just so that we've brought the whole thing to equilibrium. So we click on Solver and we want to set this cell here to a value of 522.94 we want to achieve that by changing these two cells here and we also need to add an extra constraint where we want this cell to equal this number here. So we click add and then that has now appeared. If we press solve we've now got a solution so, and it says x equals 0 0.575 y equals 0 0.5 and for that value of x and y 
we actually get um, an outlet composition and parcel pressures that give us the equilibrium constants that we need. So we've now brought the whole thing to equilibrium and we've solved the material balance for our steam reformer.